Yeah, this morning. Good time? Yeah, I really needed a break after everything I've been through. And now I'm looking forward to things getting back to normal for me and Jean. So, has anything interesting happened while I've been away? You haven't seen the paper yet? Scott's been arrested. He's been held for two nights at Hotton Police Station. I don't understand. I, I told them I couldn't remember anything that happened that night. He's been charged with another rape. Maybe I should contact the police again. They, they, they might want me to make another statement. If they've held him for two nights already, they've probably got enough evidence without you. And it might be better for you not to get involved. I don't see why. As you say, you've been through a lot recently. And you have your own health to think about. You're worried I might have a relapse. I just think you should concentrate on staying well for Jean and let the police look after Scott. Well, you must be pretty chuffed with that news. Yeah, be happy when he's convicted. Still, a couple of nights in the cells at Hotton Nick's a good start. Yeah, I didn't have too good a night myself. Could do with some aspirin. Sounds like a hangover to me. Drank enough to sink the Titanic last night. I hate it when you gloat, Chris. I'm not gloating, I'm just worried about you. Oh, is it? You can hardly even be bothered to talk to me most of the time. What, so you getting drunk's my fault? You were the one who chose to go to bed early, on your own. So you work it out. You know, it's strange. Everyone who upsets the Tates always seems to end up in trouble. I lose my job and Scott gets arrested. But you think they've got something to do with it? I don't know. There's a lot I'm still angry with him about, but Scott, a rape? Oh, Emma, have you seen this? It doesn't actually mention Scott by name. Oh, come on. Everyone in the village knows who it's about. And they'll all be saying there's no smoke without fire. I better go take them off the shelves. Hi, Lisa. Is Debbie around? Oh, she's off Blackberry in. Oh, she'll be pleased to see you. She was disappointed when you left so soon yesterday. Yeah, well, you know what Kane's like. It makes it awkward sometimes. Yeah, I guess it's bound to be. Although, Debbie seemed to think you and Kane are getting on better. Just wishful thinking. Yeah. She admitted as much in the end. Mm. He can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Do you want me to have a word with him? No, it's OK. I can handle it. Are you sure? It might be better if I deal with no, it. No, Lisa. No, no. Back so soon. Had a great time. There's loads over Heavy Tree Farm. Mm -hmm. We would have got more, but Jess Alger threatened to set his bull on us. <laughs> oh, you're not being poaching again, have you? Well, the odd rabbit might have crossed me path. OK, why'd you always try and lead her into trouble? He didn't. It's a public footpath. Just the farmer's a grumpy old git. <laughs> Oi, what's your language, you? Oi, you always say it. We're just trying to get you something nicer to you, Lisa. Oh, ta, I love these. I'll make a great pie. <laughs> Wash down that rabbit shoe a treat. You know your problem, don't you? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me, Ken. Now you're Lady of the Manor, you've forgotten what it's like to be a country kid. Remember the times we went Blackberry in, eh? The fun we had in them fields. <laughs> Told your Dad you're leaving school yet? I'm just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> I don't see your problem. I've just got a few things to sort out. Bet your parents weren't too pleased when you left, especially when you ended up in Pollard's factory. I'm not going to stay there my whole life. So what's your secret ambition? Movie star, singer? Please. Well, give us a clue. I don't like to talk about it, cos I know my dad would hate the idea. So it's something he'd disapprove of? Strippergram, lap dancer? <laughs> Typical bloke, one track mind, and it's always a dirt track. I want to drive my own lorry. Are you kidding? Why? It's a great life. You get to see the world, be your own boss. It's heavy work, though. Just cos I'm a girly. Now, you see why I keep it quiet? You're all such chauvinists. That's why you go out with Donna. You're grooming her to be the mindless bimbo on your arm when you're a tycoon. I'm not a chauvinist, and I'll prove it. Seeing as you're practically in the business, I'll give you a sneak preview of my latest car, and you can give me your expert advice. Oh, lucky me. Kane seems to really enjoy winding you up. You shouldn't let him get to you, well, you know. Well, it's hard not to, Lisa. I know it's awkward, I mean... Kane and Chris never did get on, just like Zach and Chris never got on, and there you are, stuck between the two families. Mm, especially Chris has been in the right funny mood recently. You know who's going away on a lads weekend with Terry? Not invited me. Well, why don't you come to Whitby with me and Debbie and we'll have a good time. And they can pretend to be lads together out in the town. Might do you both a bit of good. Don't see how. 
You know, I've often thought if Chris could have a bit more fun in his life, he might not be so bitter. Lisa, I used to be the fun in his life. I used to be happy at the start. Ready to go when you are. Man't pack much, but uh, Don insisted that I take some painkillers. Guess we ended up with a hangover. I see you're prepared then. Still getting the headaches. I'm coping, but I'm starting to have second thoughts about going. Well, if you're worried about the business, I'm sure Charity can let it tick over for a few days. I don't think she's got her mind on work right now. She was over at the Dingles again yesterday. Yeah, well, she's just visiting Debbie. This morning, she was implying that I was driving her to drink by neglecting her. Well, with respect, you have been letting it all get on top of you. I mean, you're making yourself ill fretting over it. You said you were going to try and trust her more. Well, it's hard to. Then she uses every excuse to go and see Kane. Well, why don't you take her instead of me on this weekend? I mean, that way you'll know where she is and, well, the pair of you could have a good time. It's not going to work, Terry. Besides, leaving her alone shows that I can trust her. If you say so. It's the way it's got to be. <laughs> Make sure there's enough for cooking. There's plenty. <clears throat> Charity's coming up tomorrow to take Debbie back to Holland Farm. So? So, I think it would be best if you stay out of the way while she's here. Why should I? Because you always seem to rub her up the wrong way. Oh, she said that, did she? I've seen it myself. You enjoy winding her up. Oh, we're just having a laugh. Me and your mum get on fine, don't we, Debbie? What's that way to me? That's as may be. But there's a chance for her to be on her own with Debbie while Chris is out of the way. So, I'd prefer it if you stayed out of it. No sweat. Got stuff to do tomorrow, any road. Right, you've been released on bail. Pending the results of our forensic tests. Just want to make sure you understand the conditions. Yeah, you dig up more dirt on me. Our investigations will continue. Don't you try and hinder them. What's that supposed to mean? If you attempt to intimidate the victim again, we'll have you remanded in custody. So I'm supposed to sit back, am I? And let her make up more lies about me? If the case comes to trial, you'll have your chance to speak up in court. Till then, stay out of trouble. Are you OK? Oh, what do you care? Hey, we know you might be angry, but right now you need all the mates you can get. You two are the last people that I want to see. Packed and ready to go. Just waiting to say goodbye to you. Why didn't you tell me that Scott had been arrested and used us all around the village? Well, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Ashley was exactly the same. Thought that it might trigger a relapse. Told me not to get involved. It's sound advice. You look much better for a break. Let's keep it that way. And you make sure he sticks to his own advice and has a good time this weekend. Oh, don't worry about that. I intend to be a very bad influence. I'm glad to hear it. Now, are you sure you'll be all right while we're away? Ashley is coming round to keep me company night so you don't have to worry. Just concentrate on enjoying yourself. Are you going already? You don't need to say goodbye, Chris. Didn't want to bother you. Thought you'd be busy. Well, I've finished the work. In fact, why don't I come with you? I could fancy a weekend away. Uh, do you want a hand with your bags? That won't be necessary, Terry. She's not coming. Don't only get bored. See you next week. Save us trooping up to the bar too often? Something like that, man. Mind you, the view's quite good up there. Yeah, well, Don said that you'd be looking out for wife number four. One should never marry a barmaid, Terry. You should know that. Yeah, cheers. They're perfect as they are. They laugh at your jokes. They're fascinated by your stories. Wives, on the other hand, they spend their time plotting to change you even before they take the wedding vows. 
Thought I'd learn from my mistakes. I think you two could be happy if you worked at it. Oh, come on, boss. Cheer up. I thought we were supposed to be here for a good time. We are. Another few of these, I'll be ready for anything. I got bail. Are you disappointed? It's got nothing to do with me. You can't say that, can you, Vicar? It's your job to pray for sinners. I know I'm not always too good at mentioning it, but I do appreciate all you've done for me. You've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. I know. But you're still the only one that's always been there for me. All part of the service. Can we be through some scrapes together? Remember when we both fell for Claudia? <laughs> I remember her taking us both for mugs. Yeah, I wouldn't have got through it without you. Yeah. <laughs> when Liam turned up. Did I ever thank you for all you did? No, boss. You sacked me. Both times. <laughs> <laughs> no one could ever accuse me of being over-sentimental. <clears throat> Why do you put up with it? Well, like you say, we've been through a lot together. Your bark's worse than your bite. Well, I intend to make it up to you. Starting now. Excuse me. Bottle of champagne for my friend, please. Best in the house. Uh, there's no need for that. Yes, there is. And more. Well, uh, if you feel like that, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Good. Because there's something I need to talk to you about as well. But first, let's open that bottle of champagne. Drinking along? That's how it suits me. Oh, I'm sure you could do with the company while your husband's away. Yeah, well, not with you. Not here. What, you're scared someone might see us? We're family. There's no wrong with us having a drink. I've got an out to say to you. Charity seems a bit edgy tonight. Yeah, well, according to Terry, there's been a bad atmosphere between her and Chris for a bit. Well, he should be used to being stuck in the middle by now. Yeah. Are well, you going to buy us a drink or what? Yeah, don't worry, I'll be there bright and early. Bye. That was Pollard. Apparently the order that we've been expecting is turning up tomorrow morning, so I'll be there all day. Oh, great, so we can't go to Whitby then? Oh, no, we're not leaving till the evening. I'll be finished by then. No, but it means you've got to get your packing done tonight. I've already done it. <sighs> Looking forward to it, eh? Hey, and you've got a day with your mum tomorrow. You are having a good holiday. Having a great time. Mm -hmm. And I reckon it's better to come. Meaning? Nothing. Look, Debbie, things are a bit awkward between your mum and dad just now. So it's best they stay out of each other's way. I thought we talked about this all yesterday. It's just the way it has to be. The thing is, boss, sir, I've been working for you for a few years now. Oh, sorry about this. Hello, love. Oh, no, we're having a great time. No. Yeah, thanks. Look, uh, I'll give you a call back later, eh, love? All right. Bye. How is she? Fine. Ten's her best. I suppose it was a bit selfish of me asking you to come away at the moment. No, 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 it's no problem. Like you say, I'm, I'm always here for you. I know it's not a nine-to-five job. But I'm... Uh, I'm glad you brought the subject up. Don and me... We've been talking. Well, you've got to make plans when you've got... A baby on the way. Be... Uh, extra expense, you know. Pram. Nursery. Childcare. Good time for a bonus. Well, uh, I, I'm not expecting something for nothing. I mean, I, I'd like to think I've got a future with you. I, um, I'd like to work my way up, you know, uh, be someone that my son can be proud of. I'd expect a bit extra on the cheque. 
I'll cover that. Pleased? Over the moon. We better phone Dawn back. Tell her your mission's accomplished. Thanks. I could get banged up for ten years for this. The truth will come out in the end. It always does. No, Emily, the only truth that really matters is that money talks. You should know that as well as I do. I mean, you and Paddy, you really care for Debbie, but it didn't stop her ending up with Charity, did it? But she's her mother. We agreed that that was for the best. Yeah, but a Tate got what she wanted, same as always. And right now the Tates want to put me inside and they'll get what they want again. Unless I start fighting back. But where are you going? I'm fine. No, you mustn't. You'll get yourself into more trouble. Right. Was she pleased? <laughs> she went over the moon. She was wondering if you wanted to come for dinner next week. Our way of saying thank you. Next week might be a bit difficult. Well, you're always welcome at our house, you know that. Meantime, you can tell me what you wanted to talk about. Doesn't matter now, forget it. Well, we've got the bar to ourselves, weekend to look forward to. Seems like a good time for talking. I've told you, just drop the subject, OK? I've changed my mind. Was it because I asked for the money? In a way. No, it's a personal matter. Since you've made it quite clear that you're only here as part of the job. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Look, it has been a long day. And I've got things to think about, so why don't you just take that to your room and leave me alone? Oh, Chris! Look, don't get me angry, just... I'll end up sacking you again. We both regret that. Go! Yes, all right, I'm coming. Tell Chris I want to see him. He's not here. Well, I'll wait. Well, he's going to be away all weekend, so there's no point. Well, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. You've got a few questions to answer yourself. What on earth's going on? I have been set up. And my bet is she put Chris up to it. Her way of keeping me out of Jean's life. I told you, leave me alone. I'm hotel guest and all. I've as much right to be here as you. You've had your money. Don't push your luck. <sighs> I've never seen you look so miserable. Well, go on, sack me. That might cheer you up. You're going to tell me what's wrong? I won't stop bothering you till you do. It's not a conference I'm going to tomorrow. Got to see a doctor, a specialist. Oh. Sounds serious. Could be. We'll know better once they've given me a CT scan. What's that when it's at home? A look into my brain. Oh, ex certificate stuff. What they hoping to find? It's what they're hoping not to find that worries me. Does Charity know about this? What's the point? We can hardly be in the same room together without arguing. Besides, they don't really know if there's anything wrong with me yet. And if they do find a tumour... I think you should go now. Not until she tells me the truth. If you don't go, I'll call the police. Yeah, cos that's always your answer, isn't it? You knew I didn't rape you, but it didn't stop you telling them a stack of lies. I told them that I didn't remember what happened that night, and that's the truth. If I'd wanted a lie, you probably would have been arrested for that as well. Yeah, OK, she didn't have the stomach to purge herself. I guess that's why you and Chris got your lander to do your dirty work for you. Listen, whatever happened between you and her has got nothing to do with me. You've had your answer now. I suggest you go before we really have to call the police. Do you want me to find night porters? See if we can get us some more drinking? No, it's not worth it. I mean, this life and 
take my mind off tomorrow, then nothing will. I keep thinking about Joseph. He's already lost his mother and my sister. When she gets ill again, I mean, I won't be there for her. Yeah, well, I reckon uh, right now she'd rather be here, trying to help you through this. Yeah, which is why I can't tell her. She's been through so much lately. One more thing like this is just push her over the edge. don't have to face it on your own. I mean, I'll be there if you want me. Yeah. What do your fee be for that, then? Take it back if you think that's what I'm here for. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd be grateful if you'd come with me. Right, well, that's settled then, boss. I don't call me boss. You call me Chris. I mean, since we're going as mates. Yeah. Just for tomorrow, man. Because when you find out that this has been a false alarm and you're given a clean bill of health, you want to forget you ever had this conversation. No. Not this time. We'll go out and celebrate. Really hit the town. Have a good laugh about it. Either way, we'll know the score tomorrow. 